Day trade is due here. Today is October 21st, 2021, and today was a no trade day. Um, I think third day this month I took no trades, and I'm okay with that. Um, I really feel I'm being patient and waiting for uh, awesome setups. There were, you know, looking back at the day, uh, this is the whole day, there were some um, opportunities uh, f to play my strategy, but it really, um, I, I didn't like the price action, um, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't have time to trade in the morning, uh, and then I got to the. Comp I <clears throat> I wake up real early, watch the pre market. I watch the open, but I don't really have time to trade it. Uh, I got the kids and stuff. By the time I get back from dropping them off to school, I got back right here um, at 11:30, and I watched this consolidate. And I was like, oh, this is my consolidation. And I was waiting for it to tighten up a little more, but it was it was going from um, 143 to like. 30 to 20 cents, which is a lot. I was waiting for it to kind of tighten up a little more, um, at least do a little bit of more consolidation. It was it was very wide. Um, uh, can you zoom in right here and I'll show you. Kind of bigger candles. So it wasn't really consolidating, it was just really bigger candles here. Hit the double top right here for a little consolidation. Um, was making newer highs this one dipped down and then ripped up and then it just was a f um, I call it a flash crash because you should have seen Apple Apple I got on my screen Apple really affects the whole market and this runs on um, the Nasdaq as soon as all the Nasdaq candles are exactly the same as this so Apple's the biggest stock in the stock market I saw that one come down I guess I ended up being some Google uh, Facebook news or some kind of joint news like that. Facebook brought the whole market down. I'm sorry, Apple brought the whole market down. Some Google Play Store or something or other. And this was the double bottom, but I didn't like this because it was like catching a falling sword. I am not good at that. Uh, I give a lot of props to traders that can do that. Uh, I didn't think it would be bought up this hard. Uh, it was. Um, but right here this big red candle at 12 o'clock which is supposed to be the lowest volume of the day actually picked up volume so the volatility started to pick up and I couldn't really find it was making higher lows which is great but I really couldn't find a level to get into I didn't like the this is a six candle push uh, I was waiting for a little more consolidation here it came up came down um, it had a nice bull flag here, which you'd think it would come back up, but it didn't. It, it dumped on itself. Another big push down, two big red candles, actually four if you count all the other ones. Um, this looked like a bear flag, thinking that it would go down, but it went up. So I was, I, was, I was making these calls all wrong, which I felt like I didn't read it right, so I'm glad I set out of it. I felt like I, at this point, I was just going to chase a trade because I left the computer around here went out and did some errands after I saw this thing I was like oh, I need to let this thing settle out I came back I think I came back 12 30 yeah, I was like an hour ish I came back just to see this and I thought this would start to curl looking like a bull flag but this was a big dump and then looked like a bear flag but then it took off and then this one came down um, really consolidated looking bearish I thought it would continue down it popped up and then came down for a double bottom here and you know that ideally was a good in if I had the balls to go in this one as well as a double bottom if I had the balls to go in here which all these were just I, I really couldn't read it that nicely so I didn't take a trade right here and ended up doing some other things uh, around the house for my wife but that was the best in uh, a plus in right there it was a bounce uh, for a double bottom right there uh, on really low volume or lower volume I should say so it would have been nice to get in around here um, or at least maybe the next dip knowing that this dip wasn't going to be as low but I, I just couldn't feel it right and, and it consolidated a little bit but it wasn't the consolidation I was looking for honestly um, it took off um, made a little hump thought it would come back down but then it just kept coming up and then dip and then ripped up to the end so you know, I, I love the way it played out today. Uh, I just couldn't read it after this whole big commotion at 12 o'clock. And then it did hold VWAP nicely, but it was really, you know, 
teasing VWAP a bunch of times. I really thought it would touch VWAP, at least if it touched it, it was going to cross. And going into today, I really thought it was going to do uh, more of a, which is 15 minute. Going into today, um, let's see, t uh, let's zoom in so I could do it this way. So if you if you get rid of today, this is what it looked like, and it was kind of arching down. I thought it would, you know, in this breakdown yesterday, which was kind of a flash crash as well. I thought this was kind of a preview to what was going to come. It came down all the way to these levels from from the day before, and I was suspecting it to just head back down, and test this level down here, 134. Um, it didn't. Uh, it opened up, and that was the lowest of the day. Um, uh, every day I trade this thing or not trade this thing, I'm very impressed with its movements. Um, it bounced off this top perfectly today from the top yesterday, but then it broke it at the end of the day. Uh, I was expecting this thing to break down, at least maybe close closer to the open, maybe down here, 142. It went the opposite way and closed at 145. So I read the thing completely wrong. Uh, and I feel okay about it because I didn't trade it. So I listened to what um, my inner coach was telling me and I just decided to sit out because I wasn't reading it the way I suspected it to go. So that's what I got for you today. I'll keep it short. Um, I enjoyed watching it. I learned a lot. And I will continue to watch this thing um, and, and, and learn from it. So I hope you guys stay green out there. It's a tough market. Um, keep your risk management tight, and uh, and you'll uh, you'll make it. That's that's what I'm hoping. So I hope you guys have a great day. Any comments, questions, drop them below. If you like the video, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe because this is a video journal to show you day trading is hard. It takes time and patience, month by month, and just showing the slow progress. Uh, as long as there's progress. It will be successful, and that's all I that's all I know, and that's all I'm going for. So, um, I'm looking like October is going to be one of my best months, process-wise. So I'm really happy about that. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.